Hey there, Capricorn. I hope you guys are wonderful. I want to go ahead and get into a reading for um, either the person that you're dealing with or the person that is on your mind. Um, so, yeah, and if you're seeking a personal reading or want to reach out to me, all of my information is in the description box below if you want that, okay? So show me the energy for the feelings of the person that Capricorn is viewing this reading for. Show me the energy of the feelings of the person that Capricorn is viewing this reading for. Capricorn's person, show me their feelings for Capricorn, please. Show me this person's feelings for Capricorn, please. All right, we have the King of Swords, Capricorn. So you may be dealing with an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, or... <clears throat> <clears throat> um, Aquarius, how this person sees Capricorn, how does this person see Capricorn, please, how does this person see Capricorn, please, wow, oh. you have the world coming out here, ascension, and their actions towards Capricorn, please, show me this person's actions towards Capricorn, please, the Eight of Swords here, okay? Show me Capricorn's feelings for this person. Wow. Nine of Swords. So you both are mirroring some energy here. How does Capricorn see this person? Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with a Virgo or another Capricorn Taurus person. And the energy of the connection here, the energy between them and this connection. Show me the energy between them and this connection, please. For Capricorn, show me the energy between these two people. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords coming through here. I'm going to go ahead and get an Angel Oracle for this. chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. Sorry. Um, it's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So that's a message from your angels there, Capricorn. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a card from the Denied Oracle deck. This is more so for any emotional or psychological situations that might be contributing to this connection, especially psychological stuff, but we'll see. Show me for Capricorn, please. Okay. You have two cards here, Capricorn. Oh. So you have wounds, childhood trauma affects this relationship, and you have loyalty, allegiance, fidelity, faithfulness. I don't want to jump the gun here, so we're not going to be immediately talking about like situations of unfaithfulness and whatever, but you know. Um, if you're dealing with that, maybe maybe that's something for you. So like it's kind of okay. Let me let me straighten these out because it's gonna drive me nuts, completely nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Capricorn, I'm just I'm nuts already, so let's just go with it. Let's hope that that works out for you guys. 
Um, the way that this person is showing up with their feelings for you, Capricorn, is the King of Swords. So, like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy you could be dealing with one of those signs. Um, this could also be somebody that is more so reserved within themselves. Um, they're very deliberate in how they engage with a situation. Very cerebral, very logical type of personality here. Um, very forthright, though. And when they are... Um, involved in a situation, they maintain their um, engagement with it. So as far as their feelings, I feel like there's a lot of communication that needs to happen here, but it also feels like that's kind of been a point of contention for the two of you, considering this, the page of, wand, page of Swords is the energy between you. It's like, we need to talk, but, you know, and I feel like this person has clarity about the situation, but also they may have a rigid view of how things are supposed to go. Show me this energy of this person, with Capricorn, their feelings for Capricorn. Why is the king of... Okay. So you have the Six of Wands in reverse. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Very interesting that the King and Queen are showing up there. And the Five of Pentacles. Um, Capricorn. I feel... Um, I feel here that there's some discord between the two of you. It feels like we are not seeing eye to eye, but it also feels like we are not... Uh, I don't know if this is monetary value or like something is depreciated. I guess like the energy between the two of you maybe has depreciated a little bit here. Um, it feels like we're at an impasse and it feels like to give to this at this time, they don't know how to do that without causing issue for themselves. Um, I also feel here though, considering heart chakra is the angel message here, this person um, or you would fare well or fare better from being expressive, from being vulnerable, you know, with the Queen of Swords there and the King of Swords, the Queen's in reverse, this can be an energy that can be backbiting, very bitchy, very cold. Um, it, it, it's like they don't, they, they don't want to associate with that or they don't want to like, and not to say that they want to get rid of you, but it's just, it's hard to be around and it feels like there's not much support in that situation. And so they may have like pulled their energy back. They may be focusing on other things right now until this can calm down. Um, how they see you. With the world here though, this can talk about endings. I mean, the world talks about endings and changes generally for the better. So maybe they're hopeful that change will happen here, but communication needs to be first. And it feels like that's been kind of immature between the two of you. I feel like you have somebody that's very headstrong in their own way, and then it's like we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, which is headstrong in her own way, but for a lot of different reasons. You know, very angry, very frustrated, very backbiting. Why the world here? Two of Wands. This is a new direction, justice, energy. The Emperor. Um, with the King and Queen of Swords, especially the way they came out in Justice, some of you may be dealing with a divorce. I will say that. Maybe there's infidelity issues. Who knows? Um, either way, though, the way that they see you here is needing to be fair. That will change the dynamic here. Um, I also feel that this is something, if there has been money issues, they're needing you to get on the ball about your finances. They're needing you to be very clear in the direction that you're taking with your work, your finances. I'm not sure why that is coming up that way, but it's like talking about financial healing. Um, I feel that this is an interesting energy just because it's like there seems to be a lack of like emotional exchange between the two of you, and it's more practical, it's more cerebral, it's more foundations like money and like practical matters and I feel like we've kind of lost like the love energy is what it feels like Capricorn
it's like to change that almost feels like we have to change the whole dynamic and you may be very stubborn in how you're approaching that for some of you there may be some sort of legal action with each other i'll say that um, in regard to their actions with you, Capricorn, we have the Eight of uh, eight of Swords. So this person doesn't know how to respond with you. They don't know what to give to you. They don't know what energy to share with you because it feels like it bites them back. And here we have you with the Nine of Swords and how you view them, which is like anxiety, frustration, not being able to like calm your mind or your emotions. It's like kind of, I don't want to say emotionless, but it's cerebral. It's like everything's in the mind worrying 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 so show me this person's actions towards cam uh, capricorn why are they, why why are they confused why is this the eight of swords two of swords in reverse strength ten of cups feel Capricorn here um their actions towards you this person cares about you this person loves you um and they may have been a partner for like five to ten years even and if that's not the case this person just cares a lot about you and sees the potential in if we can get over these hurdles we can have this love is what I'm picking up but you know with the two of swords in reverse and strength it's taking a lot for them to open up here okay it's taking a lot for them to open up here but i feel that they're going to be opening up uh to you um to express their feelings here um i feel that that will help you calm down too this may be a separation energy as well and maybe it's like we're kind of finding our ways back towards each other capricorn why is Capricorn, why are there feelings for this person? Why is it the Nine of Swords? You have the Star, Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. <laughs> so the Nine of Swords, clarifying the Nine of Swords. Um, yeah, a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustration, but this is a learning experience. The, the whole message here though, Capricorn as well, is to give equally, give equal, give and take here with this person. Um, and that goes for them as well, for them to be showing up as the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords being in reverse. It's almost as if like we are kind of prone to conflict between the two of us, the way that we think, the way that we see things, our actions towards things, it's almost as if like it creates a combative nature between the two of you. And that has created a distance that has created some sort of like, we're not level on the same playing field any longer. And I feel that that is eating at you, but also we're trying to reverse this situation, but it's gone on for long enough where it's like things aren't healthy in that regard now so we need to heal things with the star see the truth of the matter with the star and be brought back to each other with that intention should we choose to move forward you know for some of you if this is a legal matter and you are getting a divorce this may be you know for whatever reason um it feels here you're just you, you cannot rest if that is happening um it feels here that there's some element of like um, lack of reciprocity yeah it just feels like there's there's some issues here with that and if that's the case like um, I feel like it's going to take a hit on how you view relationships moving forward and you need to be mindful of how that happens because one thing doesn't rule all things I feel again I keep feeling this it's like where's the love Where's the love? Like, like, it feels like there has been love, but it's not present. And the way that you see them, I feel with the Queen of Pentacles here, it's like you see this person as somebody who is, who is nurturing in their own ways in this situation, who is balanced to a degree, but maybe it also catches you off guard as well. Maybe there's some sort of imbalance within that. Seven of Cups, the Moon, Knight of Swords, a lot of Swords energy here. 
and like like the players like the I don't mean like they're a player but like the court cards knight of swords king of swords queen of swords page of swords it's all about communication and mental frustration it's all about the mental aspect where's the love I feel here that this person Capricorn emotions may be confusing to them that may leave them feeling uncertain so they try to stay within practical matters but that also doesn't help a situation especially if we need to work with our hearts you know um, that may be a byproduct of childhood traumas where this person can't connect and so it's like they're very practical they do the practical things but when it comes to love that is intended to we need to have some level of self-care when it comes to how we express and emote um and i feel here that like we're hungry for love you know and this person is triggered or you're triggered somebody's here is triggered when it comes to you know expression experiencing this anymore Yeah, they, they will communicate with you, but it's like they only have so much bandwidth. With the um, Page of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords, you've got the Three of Wands, and you have the Page of Cups. Okay, for those of you, this is just a slim few, but for those of you who are dealing with third-party situations, it may have been a contributing factor here because what happened to the love it feels like things just dried up in that regard and so somebody may have like tried to experience that in the arms of somebody else um and that's not for everybody but it feels like there's some sort of like emotional expression that's happened elsewhere that took a long time to be experienced but by being experienced it also led to a downfall of a situation where everybody's heart is shut off and it feels like that may have also been part of a secret or something here with the High Priestess. Um, the Page of Swords is sometimes incapable of having deeper conversations about things because they're like, they can be reactionary. They can only have so much of, of availability to have certain conversations and they, they shut down or they start to get frustrated. Um, I feel here we need to have some sort of apologies or some sort of like coming together between the two of us here that feels like it's long overdue Capricorn show me wounds childhood trauma affects this relationship ace of pentacles um, it's asking to fix it it's asking to address it and with the pentacles card being there even if it's the ace of pentacles it's it does refer to health so anything around that type of like internal health needs to be taken care of so child um child like hood traumas uh shadow work stuff like that the ace of pentacles is an invitation and an action to to address that so that may be something that can be you know bringing this connection back to life i feel that we've got a lot of like distance between us so show me loyalty here loyalty fidelity allegiance fairness why is loyalty here eight of pentacles here three of cups at the bottom of the deck i will say this for a very slim few of you some of you may have been dealing with like an at work affair um or maybe your partner was that's not for all of you um if so though if so it feels like that maybe yeah see look at this we've got the three of cups and then we have the high priestess again eight of cups under the high priestess so if there's a third party situation here it caused people to this causes situation to crumble um we don't have trust we have lack of like foresight within how this might go um we have people here that want to rectify a situation and potentially want to be together but also are at an impasse because they don't see eye to eye on how that can happen show me heart chakra 
And so maybe we have a loyalty to money or a loyalty to like work. We do have the emperor showing up here as well for how they view you, how they see you. Um, death, heart chakra, death. Yeah, there seems to be a pretty significant halt to emotions in this situation, Capricorn. The earth signs are kind of going through it. I'm not going to lie. The earth signs are going through it for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on in the stars. I'm not an astrologer. <clears throat> but the earth signs are going for it, through it. Um, let's go ahead and get... Yeah, it's confusing. Show me energy for this energy for this Capricorn reading. We have community. This energy Capricorn with community, it feels like if it is a third party, it's somebody within the community or somebody that we know, or community, whatever. Okay, that's not for everybody. Um, for some of you, this is a lack of connection here. It's like things just kind of falling apart, not being in, in, um, not ordinance, like cadence with each other is what it feels like. Um, it's like finding fault in situations, which creates this divide is what it feels like, Capricorn. Give me advice for this reading for Capricorn. So we have the Page of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Nine of Pentacles here, Capricorn. Um, so direction points towards situations where we need to take care of ourselves, where we're giving ourselves the opportunity to heal. Um, this feels more so like a disconnect energy. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to pull one more card here and we're going to do it from the Mooka deck because I like that deck. It seems to be generally really good um, in my experience for messages. So you have the six, I'm sorry, the three of swords in reverse with the six of cups in reverse, bottom of the deck, the six of swords. So. It's consistent with everything that we're reading here. Um, the Three of Swords, yeah, this is the prioritizing of the self. And here it's like with the Three of Swords, we're, we're moving on. You know, it's painful, but we have to let it go. The way that we once felt about this person has been changed. It's been tarnished. It's been changed. Um, where there once was a lot of love, we now have some disharmony and sour feelings with the situation. Um, I feel also too expectations may have been an issue in the situation and how it disassembled itself. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. This is finding uh, calm ground. It's finding calmer waters and peaceful ground. Um, it's exiting a situation. It's moving on. So I feel that whoever is dealing with the situation, Capricorn, it's it's a necessity for you to heal. It's a necessity for you to be in, in like we had that community card, wherever it is, come out, community. We need to find solace within the people that have our back, that love us, that are present with us, where we do have that cadence, where we do have that yin-yang back and forth energy that's healing and healthy to be around. It feels here that there's too much disturbance in this connection to maintain that type of connection here 
Um, I feel here also you need people who I I I, I want to say like shield you a little bit from from some things here. Um, so that's it's good. It's protective energy. Um, this is a heavy energy, and I'm not sure why Earth signs are going through crazy shit right now, but that's what it seems like is going on. So I'm gonna let this go. I hope whomever this resonates for. I hope it's helpful. I'll talk to you later. Bye.